Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. Welcome to an episode of the Dotcom Lifestyle Vlog. Uh, I'm here with Sally from Random Girl SC on Instagram. It's Saturday. We're here to charge up the Tesla and check out Cars and Coffee. And I believe that Porsche is in the wrong parking lot. Cars and Coffee is upstairs. So let's go check it out. So you're walking the dog today. Yes, and Sally is finally back. So she's gonna. Yeah, last couple, last couple of times, Sally didn't wake up in time for calls and coffee, but today she's back and we're going to have a good time and you're going to see some of her photos on her Instagram channel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is it big? Lots of cars. Oh yes. And it is another full house. We're talking, my, this place is jam. What was that? They're using the summon feature. Oh, okay. Uh, the Tesla being summoned. <laughs> That's the way to do it, yeah. The guy just want to look at it and the guy and the car disappears. <laughs> this is RPM Tesla. They're a Tesla aftermarket firm. They basically, they, uh, they make stuff for modification wheels, wraps for Model 3, and they just summed it out because they just want to show off. Cars and Coffee happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. here at the San Clemente Outlet. It is a great event here in Southern California. It's family friendly, dog friendly. And this parking lot will have about up to 700 cars. It's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's the biggest Cars and Coffee in the world. Sally just asked me, how do they make money off Cars and Coffees? Uh, the answer is, they don't. they don't. They don't. Cars and Coffee is a free event. It's uh, organized by just car enthusiasts and I'm not sure how it started but I guess it started with just every Saturday a couple of a few car enthusiasts got together to show off their cars and it just grew and grew and today it's it's all this wow <laughs> that's pretty crazy see Sally no air filters you know if a bug gets in there it's going right for the engine and out the back <laughs> yeah I think he needs an air filter uh, if, you know it looks nice, but I don't think that's very uh, practical. Meeting of the dogs. Yeah, so it's, it's a great place to take a dog for a walk. And today is really not that hot. It's around 65 degrees right now, but it is still early. But I would imagine it's going to get into the 80s today. And then Woody will be trying to look for the shade. Check out this Pantera. This is a, a Pantera from the 70s. Hey, next to a Porsche 928, also from, I believe, the 70s as well. Check out this Cobra in purple. You know, Prince would love this vehicle. Purple and gold. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that shifter. Fire extinguisher. Wooden wheels. And a roll bar for both the passenger and the driver. That's the way you do it. Pipe on the side. Now that's what I call a fuel cap right there. A really good crowd today. Lots of people came out. Not a cloud in the sky, so I guess you really can't blame them. Great weather and everything. This is a new BMW X7 SUV. Uh, BMW's top of line SUV. It's pretty big, uh, has a crazy size grill. <laughs> That's gonna be the biggest BMW grill I've ever seen. Yeah, but this is their the luxury SUV designed to compete against the Mercedes GLS. And wow, that interior looks nice. That brown leather interior. I mean, oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, it, it's pretty big, pretty big. A couple of Porsches. Uh, he's got the uh, Nurburgring uh, thing there, even though this particular Porsche never set any records at the Nurburgring. Here's the uh, coupe version. Vintage Mustang. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's like a Corvair style. <laughs> Engines in the back. Still 
sketchy on that front. Oh, that's because it is a Corvair. <laughs> yeah, so a Corvair has the engine in the back and this is like a frunk. So it's uh, it stores the dead bodies in here. Oh my God. And there it is, engine in the back. That's wild. That's crazy. It's turbocharged. And I claim 150 horsepower turbocharged too. Corvettes are always well represented at Cars and Coffee. You will find all kinds ranging from vintage Corvettes from the 50s and 60s and 70s all the way to the new one from this current era. That El Camino has quite the exhaust note. Latecomers trying to find parking spot. Generally, the rule is you back your car into the parking spot, but once in a while, you know, somebody will just get lazy and just drive it head first in. Yeah. Yeah, you really like this El Camino. Back it in so you can show up your car. Oh, Sally, look at that. That's a 427 Corvette. Right there, convertible. Yeah. Oh, Mitsubishi. <laughs> you know Mitsubishi? So this here is a 427 Corvette. It's an LS7 naturally aspirated motor. And it's, it, it's pretty rare, and they're, they're really nice. There's last generation ZR1 Corvette. Uh, the way you can see the supercharger in this plastic hood. The Dirt Alliance right here. I mean, look at the, look at the amount of lights on top. Yeah, you want to go off road, this is what you take. You want to ride one of those. You want to ride one? Punch buggy. Yeah, it's, it's, it is the air cool punch buggy, With but spikes. we do have a rule that yeah. because there's so many punch buggies at Cars and Coffee, if you yeah. see one, we do not punch each other. Otherwise, we'll be punching each other all day. California is like the car capital of the world. So it is not surprising at all that cause, this Cars and Coffee is the biggest in the world and uh, there's, no other, there's no other one like it anywhere. I mean, I've seen some other, I've seen some other Cars and Coffee, but uh, when it comes to putting on Cars and Coffee, California knows how to do it. This is a Buick Grand National, and like typical of Buick Grand National today, they're all modified. You can see, uh, yeah, the turbo is significantly bigger than stock. I see the intercooler. In, well, you can't see it's the front of the radiator, and that intake uh, draws it from right here underneath. You can see that. I feel like Fast and Furious. Dom, he's got a T-Trick turbo, yeah, that kind of stuff, but you know, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's packing quite a bit of power. And yeah, this, set, this is set up for drag racing. He's got the skinny tires up front and the big Mickey Thompson's in the back. Oh yeah. There you go. That, that's the ticket right there. The Mickey Thompson MT, ETs. And he's got a ratchet shifter, a Hearst ratchet shifter. It's got the big, uh, the big tack. And it looks like, looks like he also has a line lock as well, I see as well. So, uh, yep. This thing is all set up for do one thing only and that's to get down a quarter mile at a blazing fast time. It looks like uh, your average, you know, classic 56 Chevy, but then look at this guy. He puts in a brand new LSA motor in it. So you, you can see the supercharger right there. It's got the headers, the, uh, the, the big air intake down the side. Yeah, this is like uh, the best of the old world meets the new. So you have a classic, classic body with brand new, with a brand new heart. So let's take a look. The interior has totally been redone. Nice uh, vinyl work there. Uh, he's got a manual, looks like a manual six-speed shifter. Wow, nice. Yeah, this is beautifully done. Yeah. That's like the best looking barrel I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure he upgraded suspension to modern tech as well. So. Uh, this thing probably rides as good as it looks. There is Simon, the organizer of Cars and Coffee, making his uh, usual round with his camera showing off all the cars as well. You can check out his channel. Widget is met his match. Now this is cool. This is like the family camper van from the, I don't know what era, but <laughs> check that out. I wonder what's in here. Eh? Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Beautiful. Let's see. 
So this is the uh, the camper sleeper, and it's being towed by the Woody. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that. This is classic. Uh, oh, see Sally, Woody. <laughs> It actually has Woody sitting inside and it's got three rows of bench seats so it can sit two, I guess a two, four, seven, seven seater. It's got the louvers here for the sunshade. Wow. All right, I love the hood ornament. Check out that hood ornament right there. Oh yeah, the curb feeler, the curb feeler, yeah. White wall tires. Oh, this one got a lot of custom touches. Uh, let's take a look at that camper here. The camper sleeper, the sleeper camper. Yeah, perfect. There you go. A little storage up there. And then the, the bed. And, oh, but it is for sale. The whole... Oh, the trailer. I thought, I thought the whole thing was $7,500. Only the trailer. <laughs> oh, right. A vintage Jaguar Y-Type. Really nice. Vintage 55 Corvette, uh, C4 generation Corvette, a BBI Autosport uh, 911 Turbo, 911, more Porsches. Yeah, Porsches and Corvette are generally the two biggest brands that cause in coffee. Yeah, normally the coffee is supplied by Ruby's Diner, but this Rockwell food truck has been parking here for the last several weeks and been, I guess, taking advantage. Why not? You know, free enterprise. And there's my old Jag in SVR version. So this is a white convertible. It's got a 570 horsepower supercharged V8, which uh, you don't see much. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's all covered up. Interior, it's been a little upgraded. You can see the cooked thing on the leather. It's the carbon on the center dash. And the carbon wing. Yeah, I see tire mark loop. Someone violated the rules here. Cars and coffee has three rules. No speeding, no burnouts, and no revving. Uh, you do you do any of that, you'll be banned for life. More Corvettes from the Bondurant Driving School, and still more Corvettes. <laughs> and that's cool. Wow. Vintage Corvette. Vintage Mustangs, Vintage Corvette, Vintage Mustang. This is all the vintage cars here. Like, uh, here's a nice one, Vintage Porsche. Here's Ruby. And let's take a look at this, this new ZR1 that's backing up into the space here. So this is the, uh, the most powerful Corvette ever made. It has 755 horsepower, big supercharged V8, uh, the supercharger. The engine is so big, it sticks out. It sticks out of the hood. Yeah, this thing looks pretty mean. Cars are still coming in. I think they need to take over the lower parking lot. Yeah, they're gonna today. Really busy day today. Like so many cars today. Nice Chevrolet pickup truck. Oh, look at this Pantera, Sally. Look at that, look at the engine, look at the engine. Wow, what the? All right, <laughs> wow, look at that engine. Wow. Wow, that is nice. This thing is nice, it's fully restored. And not much of a frunk, I mean, you can't put much in there, but maybe a day bag. That interior has been totally redone. It's beautiful. There's a right-hand drive Nissan GTR. All right, uh, this car does not have an alignment problem. It's just on bags and it's been dropped to the ground. Yeah, when it raises back up, the, the wheels will go back into alignment. Hey, look at the Mini. It's barely bigger than Sally. Yep, barely bigger than Sally. Uh, another ZL1 Corvette. 
Yeah, yeah like I said, the engine is so big, they have to cut a big hole in the in the hood to, to clear the engine. So you can, this has the hood up, so you can check out the uh, this massive, massive supercharged motor. 755 horsepower. He's got a proper manual transmission, very nice. Carbon uh, canal here, this directs, this directs air to the brakes. <laughs> a GT2 size rear, rear wing. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in forever. It's a Trans Am with a TA 6.6 .6 with a screaming chicken. Man, a screaming chicken. Let's take a look at the interior here. My brother used to have a Trans Am. Oh yeah. Yeah, this brings back a lot of memory. <laughs> Check out this punch buggy. It's a, uh, you know, your typical punch buggy, but it's it's, it's got this uh, custom-made trailer here, you know, to tow some additional stuff. Carry an ice chest and some capping. It's on a single wheel. Hey, I, I love this. Vintage vehicle, pass with caution. Supercar road starts with a Ferrari 458 Italia. And then here we have a Lamborghini Aventador with the famous Lambo doors. There's a Porsche 911 GT3, GT3 RS. Uh, they're both GT3 RSs. BMW 2000, Lamborghini Gallardo, a Ferrari F12. This is a replacement for the Ferrari 599 and it's one of my favorite looking Ferraris. The Bag Rider, Porsche GT4, 427 Z28 Camaro, very nice. J's Ford GT, Ferrari F430, Ferrari California, Ferrari 360. Porsche 911 GT3, a Ferrari 488. This is the replacement for the 458. Another Ferrari F12 with the hood open so you can get a good look at the, uh, the natural aspirated V12 motor. Makes 740 horsepower. And, and this is the predecessor. This is the Ferrari 599. So basically that replaced this. Both got V12 motors. So you can see how it looked back then to how it looks now. Yeah. Another 599. Oh, this is a 599 GTO. This one is super rare. Yeah, this one's worth, yeah, this one is worth over a million dollars. And the thing is, look, here's the 599 GTO and there's the 599. You can get the 599 for around 160, 170, maybe $200,000 at the high end. But then you get the 599 GTO, which looks pretty much the same. I mean, here's both of them together. So the one on the left is about 160, 170,000. The one on the right is over a million dollars. So here is from the GTO from the back and the 599 from the back. You know, unless you're a Ferrari enthusiast, you would probably not know one from the other. The motorcycle section at Cars and Coffee. If you have a motorcycle, you're more than welcome. Nissan GTR, the new Austin Martin Vantage. Yeah, the new Vantage, McLaren 570, Audi R8. Uh, another Ferrari 488. BMW, hell, here's a AMG GTR, another McLaren, another Lamborghini, yeah, a couple of Audi R8s here. Yes, yeah, Sally, we, we came to the end. Okay, let's go get some pretzel. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Cars and Coffee. 
Like I said, it happens every Saturday from 9 to 11 here at the San Clemente Outlet. Uh, if you're ever in the area, you know, do check it out. It's family friendly, dog friendly, and they have great pretzels here too, which we're going to go get right now. So see you guys next time.